So in the backyard of the brewery, we have this mulberry tree. And the first year we were moving in, before we thought to capture that fruit and use it, it was just on the sidewalk and parking lot of the brewery. And we were drapesing it through the brewery, making this long purple line down the middle of the place. And the joke became we had to figure out a way to use those in the brewery better than painting the floor. You know, if you, if you subscribe to the philosophies we do, if it grows together, it goes together. And if our brewery has a mulberry tree, mulberries belong in the beer. So what we did was come together with this plan to make a, a sour beer to kind of coax out the fruit of the mulberry and let it play a second role to what is the beer. So basically the reality of a mulberry is it's, it's kind of a flat fruit. It's got some sweetness, but not as much as a blackberry, and it's got some tartness, but not as much as a raspberry. It's this certain just kind of middling flat flavor, but very juicy and pretty. Looking for an idea that would make that more interesting, we turned to sours. There's a tradition in Berlin, Germany of these sour beers that have these kind of flatter syrups added to them. And we decided the best move would be to put that fruit into a slightly sour beer because it would coax out some of the high points of the fruit. So we made what essentially is based on a Berliner Weiss and added the fruit to the fermentation so that it would all integrate and finally you end up with this mulberry sour. So we made it our first year because we wanted to see what we could do with it. We're making it again this year because we liked what we did with it. It's, it's practical, it's light, it's good in hot weather, it's simple yet has some enough interesting qualities about it to make us want to drink it more. It'll come out in the end of June and it'll last, you know, depending on how it goes, it'll last hopefully through July, maybe in August.